90% of what you can see in terms of graphic elements here on my YouTube channel in the form of thumbnails or graphic designs on my Instagram posts, Instagram stories, and other stuff I create on Canva. And in fact, I've been using Canva since 2014 and Canva has become for me not just a graphic design tool, but the graphic design tool that I'm using every single day for my own uh, content creation as well as for my clients. So guys, in this video, I compiled 10 tips and tricks how to make your designs on Canva Canva much cooler and your workflow in Canva much smoother. And let's begin. And a little disclosure before we jump into the tutorial, some of the things that I'm going to be sharing here in this video are only available on the pro version of Canva. And guys, uh, Canva is not that expensive and it's totally worth its money because you can save a lot of money spending on other tools because Canva has really, really limitless possibilities when it comes to content creation, email marketing, and blah, blah, blah. There is really tons of things that you can create on Canva. So this is a great investment into your business. You can go ahead and check the link in the description box and try the pro version of Canva absolutely for free for 30 days. And let's begin. The first thing that I'm going to be sharing on this tutorial is my favorite shortcuts that can make your life much easier. And let's go. First, we're going to create any post. Let's go for Instagram post. Let's choose any kind of template. Let's choose this one. I'm going to delete everything so it's not kind of bothering you. As you know, to insert text on Canva, you need to click on the left hand side where you have this all this kind of tools text and then you can choose the text and it's kind of few steps that you have to do but you can do it on the uh, keyboard just simply typing the letter T and voila your text is insert the next shortcut that I really like using is I'm also gonna show here on the video uh, the one that is available shortcut for Windows because I'm using Mac right now and it is copying and pasting. So for copying and pasting, you simply need to highlight the area of copying and pasting. Let's say we want to, to you know, use this text. So you will need to press uh, Command and C and Command and V for pasting. And here we go. The next thing, as you can see, like this text is super, super small. And sometimes when it comes to especially editing some really small elements, you want to zoom out. As you know, you can zoom out over here, but you can also do it on keyboard and it's a bit more specific and is a bit more manageable if i can so, say so you just simply uh, press command and plus for zooming in and command and minus for zooming out and voila it is ready the next thing that i'm going to be sharing with you guys is some of the my favorite canva possibilities or canva tricks and the first one is going to be cutting out the background of the object before that, I used to use Photoshop a lot and it's quite a hassle to cut out the object because it's not a machine learning and you kind of have to do it by yourself. But Canva has pre-built a cut out background thing. So let me show you. We're going to go to photos and we are going to choose any object. Let's say we're going to choose this uh, picture and we want our boy to be cut out. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and uh, highlight our image, go to effects and click on background remover. The thing is here, uh, it takes a little bit of time for Canva to understand what kind of uh, things to remove and what kind of things to leave out. And here we go. It's perfectly removed and I love the way it turns out. In case something is not correctly done, you can always use these buttons like erasing, if some things you want to erase and or restoring if you erased a bit too much. We are going to click done because I'm really happy with the design and I'm going to keep it a little bit smaller. The next thing that I want to show you is like a super cool trick is creating kind of a shadow effect on your objects. We're also going to talk about how you can create a text shadow effect. But now we stick with the object. As you know, Canva doesn't have this possibility to create outline of the object or shadow effect. So what we're going to do, there is a way out to do this. We're going to uh, use our shortcut that we just learned, Command C for copying and Command V for pasting. Now we have two objects over here. The next thing that I'm going to do is go to effects and choose duotone effect 
So it doesn't matter which one you're gonna choose, let's choose the cherry one. And now you see that our object changed the color and we're gonna click once again uh, to access the colors of our duotone. Now here we are going to choose the color of white because I wanna create white outline of our primary object. And also in shadows, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do it white as well. So now we have the same object, but in white. So now guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna enlarge our object that's gonna serve us as outline a little bit and place it just where we want it to be, uh, on the top. Now we're gonna go and click position and bring backward. Now we have cool outline and you can use uh, the arrow keyboards, uh, arrow buttons on your keyboard to adjust our uh, layer that is down our primary object to place it right in the center or a bit left right it depends how you want it to do and here you go this is done the next thing that i want to talk with you guys about is uh, how you can create shadow effects for your text which comes automatically on canva pro which is super cool so let's say we are want to use any kind of text let's go ahead and use this text so now this text already has a shadow which is a bit tricky but anyway we want to change it uh, all you need to do is to highlight the area of your text uh, click effects and now you have shadow effect over here i like super much the splice effect it's kind of trendy right now and you can even change the color of your splice uh, like let's say we want to change it to something a bit darker or maybe even white and yes, here we go. Now you can uh, play a little bit around with the thickness if you want to make it a bit thinner or thicker and the offset, which means the direction of the outline of the text. In that way, you can also play around with shadow effect, with lift effect and stuff like this. It really depends how you want your text to be designed. Now, let's say, you know, you created a design and you want everything to be aligned smoothly and perfectly. So the thing here, what you can do in uh, Canva Pro is let's say we have designed this this is already perfectly aligned but let's say you I don't know put text like this and you want it to be perfectly aligned there are two ways to do this so the first one is let's highlight the area that you want to align we are going to click on position and tidy up and here we go it's automatically aligned to where it's supposed to be aligned actually canva is pretty smart in that way the next thing is uh, let's say we want not automatically to be aligned but we want you know to know where to put the text by default canva doesn't show any guides or rulers which could help you to position the text or any kind of object but you can make it to show up uh, for this you need to go to file and show rulers and also file show guides and margins and stuff like this so now you can drag and drop your guides to make sure that uh, you know the space where you want to align this area if you're familiar to photoshop it's more or less the same and it works the same uh, when you do it uh, horizontally and vertically. Now, if you want it to disappear again, we are going to uncheck all of this. And here we go. The next thing that I want to show you is kind of really, really amazing and super helpful. Uh, let's say you're using some stock images, which I highly recommend you to purchase per version because Canva has thousands of pictures that you can use for free and you don't need an extra tool uh, to purchase images if you like using Im stock images for whatever you're using for Instagram or any other social media channels or other graphic designs. And sometimes you have like, uh, you know, a project that you need to use images from that are the the same style so here are two two ways to find pictures of the same style the first we're gonna go to photos li library and here you're gonna have these filters uh, which you can filter by size orientation and availability which is doesn't really matter but here you can choose the color let's say we are interested in the yellow color and square and apply filters now we have images that has primarily color yellow and are squared sized um, the next thing is a bit more uh, handy than this method so i'm going to uncheck all of these filters uh, apply and i'm going to uncheck this one as well apply filters so let's say uh, we like this image this one over here and we want to use the same style images so it's kind of made in the same style uh, so what we're gonna do so once we like the the image we can click on the three dots and click on view more by floral decor here you're gonna have different authors by the uh, images 
and here you go now you have tons of images that are made by the same uh photographer and most in most of the time they have the same similar similar branding similar style and so on like let's say this one is also looks very similar to the initial one uh, this one and so on and so forth and here I go. The next thing that I want to show you is kind of really, really cool. But for this, you need to have a complementary extension, which is super easy to get. It's, uh, well, I'm talking here about the animated transparent GIFs, which you can incorporate into your Instagram posts or email marketing or any other stuff. So uh, first thing we are going to click on more. And here you have different apps and integrations. So we need uh, for this GIFI, we're going to click on GIFI. Now you need to, to type in any keyword uh, that you want to, to find, let's say, let's say we're going to use a dog for this example. And the next keyword that you need to write is transparent. So now we're going to have a dog that has no background, but is still movable, which is super cool. So let's say we're going to choose this puppy over here and you can design any kind of pose that you want, use your own background, your text, and it will not look like too much, not your style. The next um, trick I want to show you guys is, let's say you have designed pose, but you want it uh, to be in the same kind of style. Well, you can do instead of copying and pasting everything manually, you just need to highlight the page that you where you want to copy the style click on this uh, brush thing i don't know how this thing calls but it's it's written actually copy style and we're going to go to the slide where we want to add the style where we just copied it and that's it some things of course you need to change because it's not all precise but uh, in general your designs are going to be uh, copied correctly so let's do it on the other slide just that you know how it works and here we go the next thing that i want to show you guys is uh, very very handy especially if you're reusing some of your designs uh, for other projects or you use you want to use some of your design as a template like let's say you once designed something and you later on can reuse it for future so what you can do is click on the design that you want to sa uh, save we're going to click on these three dots and we are going to uh, create template out of it now we can create uh, use the folder that you already have or we are going to create one i'm going to use the folder that I already have that calls template and create move and publish template now if we go to home page uh, which can kind of offer us to go we on the left hand side you have different uh, folders uh, here you can access all your folders and we have saved uh, our design right here so once it's saved you can go ahead and click over here you can swipe and see what kind of design you want to edit and you can either edit original or use as a template once you use it as a template your initial template will not be changed but uh, the template that you're editing will uh, kind of saved as a new uh, graphic design pages. The next thing that I want to share with you guys, if you're sometimes out of inspiration and you don't know what color is matching what color or what color is matching what font, you know, it's sometimes kind of a mess when uh, it comes to designing some graphic, uh, you know, posts and stuff like this. And uh, Canva is offering an amazing tool which calls styles over here and it already offers you some combinations of the font and the colors that are really good matching with each other let's say we want to change this one to this and you can shuffle and change the colors and you can try out and see how it's going to work or let's say we want to use this design which I think it looks much better, but let's shuffle it and create something really cool. You can also use only colors, different color palettes or font combinations, which is also super cool. Alrighty guys, that is it for today. I hope this video was useful for you and you have learned some really cool tips and tricks that you can use right away on Canva. And I'm going to see you in the next video.